So we're, we're here tonight for another opening, another show, New Bedford Festival Theater, 26 years, is it? 26, 26 years, years, but right. this is our 27th summer season. Okay. Because we were founded in April of 1990. Yeah. And we did a show that summer, so it's funny how it plays out. Yeah. It, it's impossible to schedule anniversaries because it always seems we're doing it too early. Yeah. Is there anything that makes this year's production, Greece, special or different from the others? Well, I feel that every once in a while, you do something purely out of the fun of it. Um, and we, we have a summer operation is what we do. It's, we don't, we don't uh, perform in the other three seasons of the year. And for that reason, it's hard sometimes to choose shows. You can't really choose something that's extremely depressing. And yet we have done Les Miserables because the public warrants and demands it. Sure. So you, you, have to, you have to do the big ones, do the really super big, big ones. But Greece is a big one. Yes. Um, and it's proving that in box office sales right now. And uh, eventually, the interesting thing, Ed, is we do all shows. Before you know it, you've done everything, and your list gets shorter every year of what you can do if you don't want to repeat. And at this time of my life, I'm not crazy about repeating. So what I'm saying to the audience is we have never done Grease right. in this organization, and I am very proud of presenting it because it makes people happy. She'll be systematic. Uh, Ultramatic. <laughs> Hydromatic. <laughs> Shit. Thank you. Be Maurice. Right now. What about the cast this year? Tell me about uh, the cast. Well, you know, it's a very interesting cast. Many of the cast members, uh, and it's a very intense cast of 16 people, many of them are returnees, shall we say, to New Bedford Festival Theatre. Michael Susco, our director choreographer, and we felt that this would be a year to bring back our performers who, first of all, love performing in New Bedford, and we love having them perform for us because they're so giving and they're so talented. So we have quite a few people in the cast who have returned to New Bedford Festival Theatre uh, to play their roles in Greece. And uh, uh, of course, Greece is a special show. You had to have a special youthful look. And uh, the rock and roll music sound has to come from incredible voices, and we certainly have that. And uh, I think 
they have worked extremely cohesively. Uh, they are a group. Um, at the beginning of any rehearsal phase, Michael Susco, again the director choreographer, sits everyone in a circle and goes around and ed each one introduces themselves, what they intend to get out of the production, what their dreams and their aspirations are, and uh, it becomes a very close-knit family very quickly. And of course, with only two weeks of rehearsal, and then a week into the theater to do all the technical uh, adjustments. Uh, they bu create a bond very, very quickly. I need to ask either one of you, how many of them are local? Well, interestingly enough, as the years go by, what constitutes local becomes a bigger and bigger circle. True. Today, for us, we would consider anybody in the Boston, Providence, South and East coming down to us okay. um, is local. And they all have to commute. If they live, uh, not so much Boston, but if they live in Quincy, they're commuting. It's as simple as that. We don't house people that live that close. So interestingly, I would say approximately one, one half of the cast this year is local and one half comes from away. And we have um, the leading lady from Hairspray is with us in this show, and she's from Philadelphia. And we have the leading man who did um, Hair and also did Chorus Line. He is from New York City. He's a New York equity actor. Uh, we have another actor, the young man playing the lead in the show. He was uh, um, in Mary Poppins last year in the ensemble, but uh, he's playing Danny Zuko this year. He's from Chicago. Oh, wow. So, and what he did during the winter is that he ended up getting on Royal Caribbean cruise, cruise ships, and he played the other John Travolta role. He played the role in uh, Saturday Night Fever. So uh, he comes with all kinds of credentials after doing that and can really move. Okay. So that really helps. <laughs> Thank you. 